elixir primers and foundations following the serum we're going to add a primer again we're going with makeup forever which you can also find at Sephora a little bit also goes a very long way this product can last you up to five to six months if it's just a regular home use again just like the elixir and or your moisturizer, you're gonna apply it all over the skin. I would stay away from any kind of sponge as it absorbs a lot of makeup and waste product. I wouldn't be scared of getting too oily as well, and you can also just put on a mattifier. That way you can restore moisture in your skin all day long and not get any cracked foundation. If you have extreme oily skin, I probably would just take out the elixir altogether. She has pretty normal combination skin, so I think the elixir would be a great benefit for her to have. Now reverse contouring. This is a foundation application that I actually learned from Eve Pearl in New York City and in Vegas. Everybody has three dimensions to their face. Nobody's one dimension, so how can you possibly use one foundation color? What I'm using is number 140, I'm also using number 120. She kind of has a little bit more of a pale skin tone. So what you do is you contour with the lighter foundation and you highlight with the darker foundation. So this is our darker foundation. So we're just gonna apply it to all the points that stick out in her face, like her cheekbones, her forehead, her nose, and chin. And that other cheekbone. And just flip your brush and add the lighter one right in all the contouring spots. Right underneath the cheekbone and the jawline, right in the crevices of the nose and the cheek, and the eyes, and again for the other side. Right at that lip. I kind of actually combine both of them. Now that you look like more patient, you can go ahead and blend everything. This technique gives an absolute flawless face. The other great thing about Makeup Forever as well is that it is an HD compatible makeup. So I know you probably noticed I haven't concealed her yet. I leave the concealer until last. But I just see her skin looks great. She might be a little shiny in her T-zone, but we'll take care of that at the end. We still have to step this makeup. I'm gonna add a little concealer. I'm using MAC. This is the NW20. Ever so lightly go right underneath your eye, your eye. Just blend it in. I sometimes go right along the lash line. Great, so now we're going to go with our translucent setting powder, also for Makeup Forever. This is a translucent powder. It goes on practically nude. Now we're just going to take a tiny brush and go right underneath where we conceal. Sit right underneath there. and you have a nice flawless face. I'm gonna add a little bit of mattifier. I guess if you can go ahead and use your fingers, you don't have to use brushes, they are quite expensive. Just stay away from those sponges unless you're trying to remove makeup. And that is your foundation application for reverse contouring. 